Hey guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to let y'all know that our coach program is actually expanding threefold. Coaches are all personally trained by me and are there to help you with problems like procrastination, motivation, depression, anxiety, and helping you get unstuck. So check out the first link in the description below. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alok Kanoja. I'm a psychiatrist and co-founder of Healthy Gamer, and we're on a quest to help the internet with its mental health. So today I want to talk to you guys with about something really important. It's one of the things that keeps people sort of stuck in failure. And that's a principle called moving goalposts. So one of the damnedest things that we do to ourselves is that a lot of times, anytime we succeed, we actually, our mind does this little flip that turns a success into a failure. And I call that principle moving goalposts. So a lot of times, you know, we'll set goals for ourselves, right? We feel like a failure because we're um, maybe we're out of shape or, uh, you know, we don't wake up on time or things like that. And then our mind does something really, really tricky when we try to make a change. So what will actually end up happening is we will make a change at some point, right? One day you'll eat something healthy. And then instead of viewing that as success, our mind does something really tricky. If we eat a salad for lunch, our mind does this really slippery thing is that it, tell, it tells us, oh, we should have done this a long time ago. Why didn't we start sooner? Right? And, oh, now we're going to start eating, eating healthy every day. So our mind takes one success and it turns it into a failure. Just think about that, right? And it does it in two ways. The first thing is that we beat ourselves up for not doing it earlier. Even though we're taking a step in the right direction, instead of being inspired by it, instead of being motivated by it, instead of giving ourselves a pat on the back, what do we do? We beat ourselves up. And so bizarrely, we turn our success, we turn this positive energy in this good thing in our life that, oh, we ate healthy today, and we turn it into a failure. We transform it into a failure about the past. Oh, I should have been eating healthy my entire life. And watch what your mind does. It's tricky, right? And so it takes positive energy and turns it into negative energy. The second thing that we do that sort of destines us for failure is that we take a success and then we move the goalposts. We say, oh, I ate healthy today. Now I'm going to eat healthy tomorrow. The goal that you woke up with today was to eat healthy today. It's not to eat healthy for the next week or the next month or the next year. It was a small goal. And you can accomplish a small goal. You can take one step at a time. But our mind does the damnedest little thing, which is that it takes a success and moves the goalposts on us, right? And then we destine ourselves for failure. So we say, okay, I ate healthy today. Now I'm going to eat healthy the entire week. And that's not something that you're really capable of, right? Because what can you actually do? You can eat healthy maybe one meal. But when you, the second that you have one success, you move the goalposts on yourself and you set yourself up for a success or for a failure that, because the success that you want is not really going to be feasible, right? You take taking one step forward and then suddenly you expect so much more from yourself. You take the concept of your success and then you move the goalposts. You change the way you define success. Okay, I ate healthy today. Now I have to eat healthy for the entire week. And that too transforms your success into a failure. So stop moving the goalposts on yourself. Be really, really careful because this is what leads to a life where you feel like a failure every day. The crazy thing about this is that you're not a failure every day. You guys are actually succeeding all the time. The problem is that you won't let yourself sit with that success. You won't let yourself give yourself a pat on the back. All that ends up happening is that you move the goalposts on yourself and you expect so much more than you're capable of, right? Instead of focusing and practicing and getting better at eating healthy today, the second you eat healthy today, you expect so much more of yourself tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And then what happens is you inevitably fail. And when you fail, comes all the shame, comes all the disappointment, comes all the, oh, I can't you know, I, I'm lazy, I'm undisciplined, I don't have any willpower. Look at all those people out there that are so much better than I am. I wish I was disciplined enough to eat a salad every day. No, my friend, that's not what you should wish. What you should wish is exactly what you've accomplished, which is that I wish every now and then I could eat a salad. Because if that's the goalpost that you set for yourself and you don't let yourself move it, you can succeed. And then you become a different person. You become someone who succeeds sometimes and fail sometimes, which is a wildly different thing from someone who fails all the time. And why do you fail all the time? Because you keep on moving goalposts on yourself.
And so then we have to we have to beg the question, why do we do that? Why do we move the goalposts? It's because of all of that negative perception that we have to balance, right? If I view myself as a complete failure, if I view myself as someone who fails all the time, the only success that will balance that is a huge success. It's not good enough if I'm 300 pounds overweight. It's not good enough to eat a salad one day a week. It's just not good enough. And that's what we tell ourselves, right? Because we have this perception that we're so overweight or that we're so much of a a failure that we have to balance it with a big success. It's the only way to make up for how bad of a person you are is you have to have an astronomic success. If you dropped out of college, you can't finish community college. You've got to go to Harvard, right? You got to balance that success. Because you feel like such a failure, there's got to be a huge success. Otherwise, it's not enough. And so when we eat healthy for a day, we say, I got to eat healthy for a month because I have 300 pounds to lose. Eating one, eating healthy one day a week is not going to give me the success that I need to be where I want to go. And so we move the goalposts because we've got to make up for lost time, right? We've got to make up for it because we're such a failure. And why do we have to move the goalposts? Because we view ourselves as such a failure. So what happens when we start to see ourselves as instead of a complete failure, someone who succeeds sometimes and fails sometimes? If you start to see yourself that way, then suddenly you don't have to move the goalposts as much, right? You don't have to be an absolute success because you're successful half of the time. You only have to, you only have to move the goalposts a little bit more. You don't have to move them a huge amount. You just have to move a little bit more. And then something magical happens because the less you start moving the goalposts, the more successful you become. And the more successful you become, the more your identity changes to no longer being a failure. And the less of a failure you feel about yourself, the less you move your goalposts. The less you move your goalposts, the more successful you become. The more you view yourself as a success and the less you have to move your goalposts. You guys feel stuck in a cycle of failure. And that absolutely sucks. And don't get me wrong, it is a cycle, right? Because with each failure, more shame. You have to make it up more. Each year that goes by that you fall more and more behind, the more miraculous you have to be to make up for lost time. If you're 24 years old, you just have to make up for a couple of years. If you're 28 years old, you have to make up for so much more time. If you're past your 30s, now you have to really do something miraculous to turn things around. And so the bigger gap you create for yourself, the more of a failure you feel like. And then the more of a failure you become. Because the the goalposts have moved so far that there's no human way, there's no plausible way that you can actually succeed. You destine yourself for failure. So it is absolutely a vicious cycle. And the question is how to break it. And the good news is that the vicious cycle works both ways. If you can start to to take one step forward and be satisfied with it, right? If you can take one step forward and not move the goalposts, and you can say, you know what? I did a good job today. At the end of the day, today is a day that I actually ate healthy. Today is a day where I may be 300 pounds overweight, but I know at the end of today, I'm not 301 pounds overweight. If you can give yourself one success and then not move the goalposts, then you shift your perspective about yourself. The more you shift your perspective, the less you move the goalposts, the easier it is to succeed, and then the more you shift your perspective. And then eventually you become the person that you want to be. You become the person that you see and you envy. You become the person that other people envy. They look at you and they say, man, that person is disciplined. That person isn't lazy. And the crazy thing is that you are exactly the same thing that you used to be. The only difference is what you do in here. The only difference is that you perceive yourself to not be a failure anymore because you don't actually fail all the time. No one fails all the time. It feels that way. But you don't actually fail all the time. And then what you focus on is, okay, I ate healthy today. I ate healthy today and I ate unhealthy for the next five days. This week, I'm going to see if I can do one day a week of eating healthy. And then you can do that, right? And then the next day, next week, now here comes the tricky thing. What do you do the next week? Do you bump it up to two days a week? No, no, no. That's moving the goalpost. 
The next week, you say, let's see if we can do it again. Let's see if we can eat healthy one day a week. And then the next week, do you move it to two days? No, no, no. Still one day a week. And something really magical starts to happen because if you stop moving the goalposts, even though you set your target at one day a week, you'll start to eat healthy more. You'll start to be inspired and then you'll say, oh, wow, I actually ate healthy three days a week today. That's crazy. I better eat healthy three days next week. No, no, no. Then you go to two. Be careful about moving the goalposts. The second you start to expect yourself to be perfect every day, the second you start to expect more from yourself than you're capable of is the second you doom yourself to failure. And so acknowledge where you are and do the best that you can today and set low expectations for yourself instead of correcting for all of the crap that you've had to deal with in the past. Instead of making up for lost time, because it's hard, right? You can't lose 300 pounds in a week, but that's sure as hell what you feel like you have to do. So don't give in to that. Don't move the goalposts on yourself. Expect more from your, less from yourself. Let yourself be worse than you are. And let yourself be successful at taking tiny steps. There's no shame in eating healthy for one day. We create that shame in our mind by moving our goalposts. It isn't enough. I should have done it a long time ago, right? So be careful. And something magical will happen if you see yourself moving those goalposts and you don't let yourself do it because you have to catch yourself doing it first in order to stop it. And the less you move your goalposts, the more your life is going to turn in a positive direction. And that's going to be a vicious cycle too. And that's what happens with people who lose 300 pounds. It's a vicious cycle of positivity instead of a vicious cycle of negativity. And that vicious cycle is born out of not letting yourself move the goalposts. So I hope that this little tidbit and this little insight into why you're doomed for failure, why you're destined to failure helps you because it really does help. As you start to see this stuff happen in your mind, you can see how you work as a person and you can start to make changes in your life. And if you guys like this kind of stuff, if it is helpful to you, let us know by liking or subscribing or commenting. And the more that we hear from you about like what's helpful and what isn't, that's how we know what to do. So thanks a lot for listening, guys. I'm Dr. K from Healthy Gamer, and good luck, and don't let yourself move your goalposts.